Are we there yet? Almost. Ergen Snake promised it'll be worth the hike. Remember what they said? All I heard was, uh... Actually, they said... <laughs> which means Splishy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huff and Puff! Splashy, splashy springs is supposed to be right next to it! Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not going to do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing? You gotta dip your toes in and test the water. Literally. <gasps> cold! 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 <laughs> I think your toe's extra sensitive today. Trust me, you do not want to go in there. <laughs> Erg, you're a big furry yeti. It can't be that cold. <laughs> Again, it's freezing. Oh, maybe we'll just stick to the geysers today. He's gonna get you down. Hi! Yeah! 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 Mm. Whoa, no, please go ahead. I, I think I loosened it there for you a bit. Oh, no. 
that is hot lava, I think. This is not good. It's heading straight for the never-ending forest and all the creatures that live there. Yeah, I can confirm that this is definitely lava, which means we definitely have to hurry this up. Yo! Yo! Now, everybody! I better go warn everyone. Cue me low! I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Mount Huffinpuff, but I need to make sure my friends are okay. I'll be back soon with some help. would be good, I think. Sit tight, everyone. To the wishing tree, please. Don't worry about us, True. Uncle Bartleby will keep these yetis entertained. Have no fear, my furry friends. Burning hot lava may be boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat. Yeah! <laughs> okay, the first one always gets burnt. Huh. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks. Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave, uh, I don't know, um, want to do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Thanks, Cumulo. Be right back. Fascinating. Oh, hi, True. And I know, I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huffinpuff? Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad, but then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure. But Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest and Yeti village and all the critters that live in the forest. Blistering basalt. This is serious. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well... The first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, we have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready! Wishes. Now let's see what the Wishapedia says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Thermo. 
Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava, Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. <laughs> Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi, I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huff and Puff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Wow. Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. <sighs> All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. Oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> uh... Yes, well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stone workers. <laughs> With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here, so uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Thermo! Wish come true! Hi, Thermo! Thermo! That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ah! Mom, mom, Thermo! Allie! All right, let's go, Thermo! of lava headed straight for us. Can you dig a hole big enough to hold it all? No, we got it. Okay, Diggy Dug, let's get digging. Not true. The lava's getting really close. Let's get out of here. You saved the forest! Thanks for everything, Diggy Dug. Now tuck yourself in. is mad, Erg. 
it's not really a mad face. This is a mad face. Grrr! <laughs> times better if we took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to, to think of anything with all this r r rumbling going on. Phew. You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cue me seem strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right. So let's have a think. Okay. Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? <laughs> Great! It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Elongi! Wish come true! Hi, Elongi. Here's the plan. You're going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. <laughs> Can you do it? <laughs> You're the best, Elongi. Take us a little closer, please, Cumulo. Go, Elongi! <laughs> Mount Huff and Puff, blow again. Really hard this time. <laughs> Uh, true? I don't think it's working! Blow hard! As hard as you can! <laughs> we did it! That was awesome, True! It really was. Let's go see if Mount Huffinpuff feels better.
better seesaw than a, um, uh, pokey in your side sort of thing. <laughs> I think Mount Huff and Puff would agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snake. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splishy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. <laughs> A minute. Is that steam? It's warm, like nature's bathtub. <sighs> now this is water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! <sighs> <laughs> Last one, it is a freaky toot! A little early to be watching the sky, don't you think? The Lantern Festival hasn't even started yet. It won't be long now, though. Ooh, I can't wait to see our glow lanterns fill the sky with light. With light. Ah, well, you're about to see something else fly by that's just as amazing. Look. <laughs> sky blobs? Wow, I've never seen them up close before. They only fly past here once a year when they migrate. Migrate? When it gets too warm, they head home to the chilly north. Woy, woo, woo! Ooh, I want to talk to them too. Woo, 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 woo! <laughs> I think they heard us. Yeah, chatting's not my thing. I'm more the strong, silent type who always keeps us cool, you know? <laughs> Big Sam Blubs, Biggie Blubs, Sky Biggies, this, this thing! <laughs> <laughs> they even have a cute blubby baby. Oh, hi, baby. With your big blubby baby mouth, a whole kitty could fit in there. <laughs> I don't see any wings. They must fly with their tails. Yes, they're very graceful flyers. It's landing that they're not so great at. Ninja cat hide. Ninja cat hide. Can't see. Not not wanting to be seen. Shivering with fear. Aren't they wonderful, Bartleby? Bartleby? Where'd you go? Right here, too. We should really be going. To that non-Sky Blob Festival thingy, remember? That we were gonna go to? The Lantern Festival. I almost forgot. Okay, let's go. Wanna come with us, Z? Thanks, Drew. I'm good. I can see the Sky Blobs and the Lantern Festival from right here. It's the best view in the kingdom. Okay, Z, have fun. Gotta go. Bye! And you Blobs have a safe migration north. Thanks, Kenya! Let's get this party started! These babies go and the music ends, right? Yeah! Okay, time to move with the groove. This cat ain't got hooves. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, that kitty can dance. <gasps> B, look! <laughs> what? Something's wrong with the sky gloves. <laughs> Idea. Let's watch the festival from under here. In case you know, it rains. <laughs> no, Bartleby. True. The sky blobs have turned around. What's going on? I think the music from the Lantern Festival is scaring them. That must be it. Because they're not going to the chilly north now. 
They're heading towards the steamy south. Steamy and warm sounds perfect. Not for the Sky Blobs. They only like cold weather. Hot weather won't be good for them at all. We have to turn them around. Can you stop them until we get there? I'll do my best. Oh, Cunulo! Sorry we're missing the lantern launch, B, but we have to help. Yep, it's what we do. Time to hop aboard. Why aren't I hopping aboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, legs weren't moving for some reason. To the sky, Bubs, please. I need to work on my sky blub call. <gasps> Easy little blub. It's okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're so freaked out right now. We're gonna need some wish help to calm them down and turn them around. To the wishing tree, cute. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoopsies. Thanks, Cumulo. Everyone okay? Yes. Did I forget to, um... <clears throat> did I forget to mention that the sky blobs get upset easily? Yes, but we know now. Okay, there you go, little wish buddy. If I can just calm the sky blubs down, I can get them flying to the chilly north again. But how? That will be a challenge. Let's sit and have a think about this. <sighs> how will you get the sky blubs to fly to the chilly north? First, the poor things are so jumpy and startled by unexpected things. I need to make them feel safe again. Like how you feel when you're with people you care about. <sighs> how warm and lovey. The way you make me feel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Bartleby, exactly. A wish could help us do that. And if they're still spooked, then I'll need another wish that can lead them to the chilly north. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. What fantastic wishes! Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is... Ah, Tis Way. It's a musical wish that plays music so sweet and enchanting that everyone loves it and wants to follow it. That's great! Tis Way can help get the Sky Blubs to follow us too. For your second wish, you have... Sidebar. How sweet. It's a togetherness wish. It gives you that warm, cozy feeling, like when you're with somebody you care about. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me, True, but I love you more than ever. <laughs> a togetherness wish is perfect. It'll help the Sky Blubs see me as family and let me lead them to the chilly north. And your third wish is Deflect. Very interesting. It's a shield wish that can deflect anything that bumps into it. Psst. Can you deflect a sky blob falling out of the sky? 
Yeah, I just, I was asking for a friend. A shield wish is cool, but I'm not sure how it will help us lead the Sky Blubs home. You'll put the wish to good use, like you always do, True. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Any questions? Just face bubble me. I know a lot about Sky Blubs. We will. Let's get our flying friends to the chilly north. Oh no! Look how far they've flown already! They're almost at the steamy south. You can feel the steamy heat all the way over here. That steamy warmth is awful. Just awful. Yeah. She's really scared. Oh, she totally is. Quick, Cumulo. We have to get ahead of them fast so we can turn them around. And I have just the wish to make them feel warm and lovey. Then I can lead them away. All together now, side by. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, side by. Loves to feel like I'm part of their family, so they'll feel safe enough to follow me. Can you? Whoa! Phew! <gasps> side by? No, wait, side by! I want them to follow me, not Bartleby! What's happening? I'm tingly all over! <laughs> Even my tingles are tingling! Oh, no. Uh, what's with all this sky blobbing? Bartleby! They're attracted to you. To me? You mean like I'm their mama? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be their mama. You are. Uh, side by? Mm -hmm. Can we try this again? Mm -mm. Well, thanks anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry, B. Side by only has the wish power to do that once. <laughs> Aww, the baby sky blub really loves you now. Aww, tell her to stop. I can't. Even the baby's mama wants you to be her mama. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not ready to play mama. I don't even wash my own paws before dinner. <laughs> Until Sideby's wish power wears off, you are their mama. But don't worry, you can calm them down. I can what? <laughs> Get it down! Hey, thanks, little blubster. Soft, squishy, good. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, keep it together, me. Sky Blobs, if we're gonna do this, you gotta. You gotta listen to your mama, okay? And your mama needs some space. Woo -woo. Thanks, guys. It worked! They listened! To me! See? You're a natural. Now let's lead them home. Right, home. Um, Sky Blobs? Mm -hmm. Turn around, please. The chilly north, is that a way? Mm. Gonna listen to your mother, me. Come on, little blobbies. We're leaving the steamy stuff behind. Nice work, Mama Bee. Thanks, True. That's all in a day's work. <laughs> this trip will be a breeze. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? We're stopping. Oh, we're going to Happy Farming Valley, whether we like it or not. Oh, boy, that was terrifying. At least I didn't get squished. Oh, no. Are you okay, B? I'm okay. Clouds are as light as, well, clouds. Bring it in, B. I got you. Huh? True, why are you slobbering on me? No! Hey! So this is why they landed in Happy Farming Valley. It's snack time! Yes, it is, and I like their style. <laughs> oh, Bee. You like tangy tum-tums? Mm-hmm. Huh? Hmm. I think they want to be fed by someone else. 
someone named Mama? Whoa. But their mouths are huge. What if I fall in? Fall in? Fall in? It's okay. They won't eat you. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Pretty sure? Oh, don't be scared. They love you, remember? And if anything happens, I'm right here to help. Okay, um, here's Sky Blob. Ooh. Get your tangy tom tom from your mom mom with the yum yums. <laughs> oh, well, can't say we didn't try. <laughs> maybe they'll feed themselves now. Maybe. Hmm, maybe. Izzy, we're having trouble feeding the Sky Blobs. They won't eat the tangy tum tums. Ah, try holding the fruit in your mouth. You mean like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. Whoa, are you okay, Bee? So much flubbiness. But it didn't eat you, right? No, she didn't. That's my super brave kitty. Come on, we'll need more tangy tum-tums to fill those big bobby bellies. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. It's feeding time! <laughs> <laughs> nice baby feeding, Mama Bee. <sighs> Thanks. Hey, fun fact Sky Blob tongues feel like slobbery sandpaper. <laughs> Okay, little blob, let's get you and your family home. Chili North, here we come. Uh oh. Oh, well, what now? Are you thirsty? Itchy? Need a belly rub? What? What? She's just saying thank you, Mama. Oh, wow, you're welcome. Oh, Bartleby, <laughs> we're getting close to the festival. Uh oh. Bingo Bango's still playing. The Lantern Festival is still going on. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Sky Blobs, cover oh, your ears! Oh, Plug them good, darlings! Oh, it stopped. Oh, good. Whew. And if the music's done, that means. Ready? Three, two, one. Lanterns away! Oh, look at that. Everyone's launching their glow lanterns. Oh. Oh. Lanterns scary. Lanterns very bad. Oh, no. Poor little sky blobs. Oh, now the lanterns are scaring the blobs. Stay away from my babies. Lanterns away from my children. Huh? What happened? I forgot the lanterns did that. When they land or hit something, they pop. <laughs> With the funny sound. That way, they don't leave any mess anywhere. Well, there's just way too many lanterns. <laughs> We've got to get rid of them all before my sky blobs go the wrong way again. But if we pop all the lanterns, we'll ruin the lantern festival. <sighs> what do we do? Let's think about this. Okay, let's think. If we could make a path for the sky blobs to fly through, then we wouldn't have to pop all the lanterns. Just some of them. Yeah, yeah, great idea. We'll use Deflec, my shield wish. He can clear a path by popping lanterns away. Right on, let's do it. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Deflec. Wish come true. Behind me, everyone. Okay, Cumulo, let's pop some glow lanterns. <laughs> it's okay. Mama's best friend is taking care of those scary bad lanterns. <laughs> Sky Blobs, it's okay. Just listen to your mama and follow me to the chilly north. The sky is looking clear. It's time to skip the drama. We've got somewhere we ought to be. Better listen to your mama. I'm the head of this family. Here's what we're going to do. We'll fly high up just like the wind and go woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Great job, Deflec. Ah, Nothing to worry about here, Skyblubs. Whew. Now back 
back in the back. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we showed those lanterns who's boss. Now nothing's gonna stop my sky bluffs from getting home to the chilly <laughs> north. <gasps> Are those storm clouds? No! Ah, my babies do not like those. But Mama can tell these things. Let's land until they pass. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Good stop. This is bad. The storm clouds are moving in from above and below. So they're all around us? Not yet they're not. It's clear flying through Pointy Rock Canyon. But it won't be clear for long. We have to go now. I don't know, True. Z said the blubs scare easily, and those pointy rocks look pretty scary. Oh. And that thunder's scary, too. We have to think of some way to calm them down. <gasps> I've got it. I'll have Tizway play some relaxing music. That should keep the sky blubs calm and distracted. Tizway, I need you. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Tizway. Wish come true! Hi, Tizway. We need some music to help us lead our friends through Pointy Rock Canyon. <laughs> yeah, that's a little too mellow. You have to hurry, B. Okay, okay. We need music that'll get their fins a flapping so they'll follow us forward. Faster fin flapping music <gasps> coming right up. Sky Bluffs, hey, you are the best. Baby Blub and all the rest. Sound off. Club call. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo wee woo wee woo woo. Woo wee woo wee woo wee. Almost there, we're nearly through. There's only one thing left to do. Fly through. <laughs> the Chili North! We're here! <laughs> now I know why they call it the Chili North. <laughs> we helped the Sky Blubs get home. Can you come to any blub? <laughs> Yicky! Bit less sandpaper tongue, please. I'm so proud of you, Bee. You were a great mama. <sighs> Thanks, True. Well, side by his wish power will wear off soon, though. Then the Sky Blubs won't see me as their mama anymore. <gasps> Bartleby, side by's wish power doesn't last this long. It wore off ages ago. It did? So the Sky Blubs love me for being me? Yep, just like I do, Bartleby. Uh huh. Uh oh. What is it, baby? What? <laughs> I didn't have a tangy tum-tum fruit that time. <laughs> I think that one was just a kiss. Aw, <laughs> Mama is so happy now. <laughs> Little helpers. supposed to help with that? Hey, you! Get back here! <laughs> you! I'm, I'm gonna there. get you! <laughs> come you here, come get Bartle. me! Come on! Oh. Oh. How did you put the laundry on the line already, True? I thought you did it! <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not a sweater. Although I am incredibly soft. Help! Bartleby! <laughs> 
Can I take them? <gasps> a little helper! Hi! Please don't run off, little helper. I really want to meet you. According to the ancient legend of the Rainbow City Kitties, the little helpers keep the whole Rainbow Kingdom running. <laughs> Sweet. Thanks, little helper. I could use three more just like you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best! Drew, can I keep them? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? With a little more can I, can I, can I? Keep them? I know they're really helpful and cute, but... Please, 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 please! Love you. Uh. <laughs> okay, if you think you can take care of them. I can, I will, I love them. Yay! Come on, little helpers, here we go. Come on. <laughs> Welcome to our lovely house. Make yourselves at home. Huh? What? Whoa. What are you doing there? Oh, that's... Oh, that's so... So thoughtful. Wow. You're busy little creatures, huh? Aw, who is a good widow helper? Who is? You are. And you. And you. And you. <laughs> I thought it was your turn to do the dishes, B. Well, they are our guests, and they do want to help. Who am I to say no? Whoops, missed! Okay, okay, here we go. Try again. <laughs> True! I'm in a princess panic! It's my Frookykins! He's missing! <gasps> oh, no! It's the worst! Ever! I have my Grismos out looking for him, but I need someone who actually knows what they're doing. Don't worry. I'll find Frookykins. Oh, I mean Fruki. Yay! You go, True! You want me to go with you, don't you? That's okay, B. I know a few places where Fruki likes to go. You stay home and take care of your little helpers. Great! Yeah, that's good. Give that little drool factory my love when you find him. <laughs> I will. Have fun! Oh, I will! Yeah, I'm one lucky little kitty. I wish everybody in the Rainbow Kingdom had their own little helpers like me. Yeah, that's too bad. <laughs> Toss me another one of those. <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> wow. You made my wish come true. Everyone does have their own little helpers now. <laughs> this is great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> little helpers, do your thing. Little helpers, make me sing. Cleaning, tidying is how you play. Could I love it more? No way! Little helpers, keep it going. Little helpers, you are showing. Helping skills that can't be beat. Watching you work is such a treat. Mrs. Spot, little helpers, cute as can be. Little helpers, publicly, right before my very eyes, making things so organized. Little helpers, you've been great. Little helpers, maybe take a break. Time to lower the activity. Chill out, relax, like Bartleby. Little helpers, you're not true. Little helpers need more to do. I suppose there's other jobs I could mention. The dusty ceiling needs attention. Little helpers, you're over busy. Little helpers, I'm in a tizzy. I'm running out of jobs to give you. Now I don't know what to do. Aha, that's it. If I can just keep you guys busy outside until True gets back, she'll know what to do. Come on, little helpers. Come on, my little helpers. If I were a cute little fluffy dog, I know where I'd want to go. The park. I see Fruki. Aw, the little helpers are helping him go for a walk. Hi, Fruki kids. I mean, Fruki. <laughs> Aww, your new friends are taking very good care of you. Good news, Grizzly.
to Zelda, I found Fruki with some little helpers. They were just out for a walk. Little helpers took Fruki for a walk? Hmm. Well, then bring them all home. I need little helpers to help me feed Fruki kins, give baths, brush fur, floss teeth, <laughs> bedtime stories. We'll be there soon. Polish tiaras. Thanks, Camilla. I'll see you later. Let's help ourselves to a fun walk home. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love yard chores. Did you, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, what are you guys making? <gasps> A hammock for me? I could get used to this. Whoa, zipline fishy poofs. Oh, you guys are so healthy. <laughs> Stop, 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 I'm stuffed! That's way too many fishy poof crackers. Whoa, did I just say that? What am I doing? No, 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 no. You need more stuff to help with? But you've already done everything inside and out. Up and down, all around. <laughs> I've got nothing else for you to do. Nothing. Hey, don't make a mess. Oh, now you're cleaning it up. Wait, you're making work for yourselves? <laughs> yes, you are. Um, okay, thanks, but uh, you already mowed the lawn. No, no, no. You... <coughs> you don't need to sweep it again. <coughs> you already trimmed the bushes. The house doesn't need to be muddied and clean and muddied and clean. Stop! <gasps> Bartleby! What are the little helpers doing? Help! True! Things are going great. The helpers cleaned the house top to bottom and organized the cutlery and moved all the furniture to sweep the floors. But then they ran out of stuff to do inside, so I brought them outside to keep them busy. They mowed the lawn and emptied the garbage and made a hammock and trimmed the bushes. Did I mention they made a hammock? But then they ran out of things to clean, so they started to make their own messes just to stay busy. I can't stop them. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'll be in my hammock. What was that? <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Thank you. Aww. calls from all over the place. None of the big jobs around Rainbow Kingdom are getting done. Buses need to be cleaned. The fruit harvest is piling up at Happy Farming Valley. And the Rainbow City Bridge should be finished by now. What in the big blue world is happening? I have an idea. We'll try and fix it. Bartleby, we have to do something about these helpers. Yeah, but they're so great. And they really did help around the house. I mean, you know, for a while anyway. I know, B. But now we need to figure out what to do with them. And we'll need some wish help to do it. Cumulo, over here. Hi, Cumulo. To the wishing tree. Faster, Cumulo. Greetings, Troom Bartleby. <sighs> These little helpers showed up to assist me, but when I ran out of jobs for them, they started helping. Overhelping, actually. <sighs> They're overhelping in every home, Z. When the little helpers run out of chores, they create messes just to keep themselves busy. Which doesn't really help. Not yet, anyways. It's more of a pain. And now the big jobs aren't getting done around the Rainbow Kingdom. So we need to round them up and get them back where they belong. 
Moons and stars. First things first. How can the wishing tree help? Well, the first thing you need to do is make the little helpers stop over helping. Maybe I could distract them so they focus on something else. Good idea, True. Then I can take them back where they belong so they can help the way they used to. <laughs> Which is to do all the things the kingdom counts on. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. Which is true. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Hmm. Sparkly is the name of your first wish. It's a fireworks wish that is so bright and colorful, you can't stop looking at it. Fireworks? How wonderful! How not wonderful! All that boom pop sizzle makes me jump out of my fur! <laughs> But it's the perfect wish to help me distract all the little helpers from overhelping. All right, I'll just plug my ears. Your second wish is... Ah, yes, Bloxo. It's a box that's small enough to carry your lunch or can multiply to carry a hundred lunches plus dessert. <laughs> that's great. We have lots of little helpers to gather up. Your third wish is Tizway. It plays enchanting music that everyone will flock to. Hmm, I'm not sure how I'll use that wish, but maybe the little helpers will like Tizway's music too. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Bye, Z. You're the best, Z. Bartleby, let's get our little buddies back to their work. True, come to my castle quick. The little helpers are out of control. Be right there, Roselda. Let's go, Cumulo. Zelda? True, it keeps on getting worse. Look, the little helpers won't stop walking Froakie. And now, they're doing the same thing with my Grismos. Oh no. First, it was great. The little helpers did every chore in my castle. Awesome. <laughs> but this isn't great. Why are they doing this to me, True? It's because they're not pets. They need to go back to doing what they did before. Sounds good to me. No hurry or anything. I'm kidding, hurry! Okay, Bartleby, time to use our first wish and distract them from overhelping. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Sparkly! Wish come true! Hi, Sparkly! Let's make some fireworks so that every little helper in the kingdom goes, ooh, and ah. Much better. So beautiful. It really is. And not only that, 
Now all the little helpers around Rainbow Kingdom will be distracted. Keep going, Sparkly, while Bartleby and I gather up the little helpers with my second wish. Ready, Bloxo? Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bloxo! Wish come true! Oh, yeah. Hey, Bloxo, are you ready to carry a whole bunch of little helpers for us? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, little helpers, over here! Look, it's the perfect place for you to watch the fireworks with all your friends. And, oh my, does it need a little cleaning? You're taking all of the little helpers? I can keep just one, right? Wow. Sorry, Griselda. Well, at least I still have my Grismos. They help. Kinda. <laughs> it's working, True. They love Bloxo. Perfect. Yeah. My box. <laughs> okay. Your box. Now to round up the others from all around the kingdom. Step right up, little helpers. Best seats in the house. So many little helpers. No! Is that um, all of them? Uh, not quite. But I don't know how many of them Bloxo can handle. Phew! Poor Bloxo! Oh no! Sparkly's fireworks are fired out! Thanks, buddy. True! The little helpers! They're gonna start over helping again! I still have one wish left. Tis way. How should I use it? We need to help the little helpers get back to where they were before. <gasps> I have an idea. With Tizway's music, they'll all flock to me. Then I'll lead them all around the Rainbow Kingdom and back to the big jobs they came from. Great idea. Thanks for all your uh -huh. hard work, Bloxo. Oh. Time for a rest in the pad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now it's time for Tizway. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Tizway! Wish come true! Let's play a follow me jamboree! Hmm, but I don't see any little helpers following us. Do you, Bartleby? Bartleby? Me, uh... Uh, Tizway? Oh, okay, <laughs> that was weird. If we're not sure which song to play for the little helpers, we should keep trying until we find one that works. <laughs> Yeesh, let's keep trying this way. Oh, the music's working! That's it, that's the one. Okay, everybody, let's go. Dizzy, the Rainbow City Bridge will be finished soon. I'm sure of it. You're amazing! Thank you, True. All across the kingdom, things are getting back to normal again. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. I had no idea the little helpers did so much for us. They're so helpful. 
I guess this is goodbye. Don't get sappy on me now. Aww, don't feel bad, Bee. We can't keep them as pets, but they're never far away when we need a little help. <sighs> I'll miss those cute little helper sounds they made. <laughs> or whatever it was that they did. No, just like that. True's birthday party. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's the most super epic, totally coolest day. It's Jew's birthday, my best friend's birthday, and I planned a special party for her. Yeah! I'm gonna see my friends and need a big birthday cake. Let's get this party started. We don't wanna be late. I'll be a whole year older, and it's gonna be great. Bingo, bingo! How's it going? Be there soon. It's Chu's birthday, it's Chu's birthday, and we're gonna drop a birthday beat for you. Got my invite, so excited, got a present, can't wait. Hey, you Grismos, give my apron, there's a big cake to bake. It's my royal proclamation that we all celebrate, our favorite person in the kingdom, so let's make her day great. Are you ready for an amazing birthday? Of course. Wait, I still have so much to do for the party tonight. No, you don't. Cuz I planned your whole party. Really? Yep, it's my gift to you. I'm gonna make sure you have the most amazing birthday ever. You won't have to do a single thing today, True. Aw, B, you're the best. I know, but we've got some serious birthdaying to do. Let's get going. It's my birthday. Ready for a treat? I made something extra special. Guess what it is? <laughs> it's you! Yeah! I call them Bartle Biscuits. I got the idea from the mirror. Hmm, <laughs> which part should I eat first? My ears, of course. Good choice. Hey, this kind of tastes like strawnilla. <gasps> Are we having strawnilla cake at my party? You'll have to wait and see. With wiggly jiggly jelly and bubble chew icing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as your best friend, I of course knew you'd want all those different flavors together. It's definitely not just a basic mellowberry cake. Aw, uh -huh, B, you know me so well. Can I borrow your face bubble thingy for a non-birthday emergency? Sure. Here, have another Bartle biscuit. Try eating it as loud as you can. Oh, loud enough? Griselda, answer my face bubble. Griselda, we have a birthday emergency. <gasps> you ran out of glitter balloons? No, we need to change the mellowberry cake into a straw nilly wiggly jiggly jelly bubble chew icing cake. Oh, that's no problem. Baking isn't hard. All you need is a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh, uh. But you don't have a recipe. Princesses don't need recipes. We're amazing at everything we do. Right, Grismos? Uh, okay, but don't forget, the cake is the most important part of our party. Obvi. That's why I'm in charge of it. Okay, Grismos, you heard Bartleby. Mellowberry's out, and Stranella Wiggly Jiggly Jelly Bubble Chew Icing is in. Where's my super fast ever rise powder? Let's add more. More is better. <laughs> Everything good with the decorations? Okay, great. Talk to you soon. All aboard the Mushroom Town Birthday Express. Hey, yeah! Everyone's on their way? You bet. Right on schedule. Great! 
Hey, Bingo Bango! You know the way, right? You turn left at the never-ending forest? Oh, yeah. Um, okay, I'll take that as a yes. Who's ready for ice cream lunch? Ice cream for lunch? We can do that? Sure, it's your birthday. Let's put the scream in ice cream birthday lunch. Perfect. Ready to bake. Uh, uh. Oh, what are you girls doing? Step aside. This needs a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh, uh. Baking would be hard if I wasn't so good at it. Okay, Bartleby. I think that's enough. Just one last thing to top it off. A fishy poof cracker. Party. Ah, uh, you weren't gonna wear that anyway. Cuz we're gonna get you a new outfit! Really? But only after you finish all your ice cream. Challenge accepted. No, 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 no. This simply won't do. We need to make it pop. Because all together, more, more is better. better. See? Birthday! 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 Nothing's going to stop this express bus to True's birthday party. Except for this delicious goo. Hey, what's the hold-up? I gotta get to True's party. Pardon me, I have a party to attend. Can you please move it along? Yeah, what's going on? Okay, this is perfect. Ready to see my new birthday suit? Is it as cute as mine? I love it! In that fabulous outfit, you are going to rock this party. What's that? I don't know, but we better go check it out. What's going on? A traffic jam? Choose party bus. Oh, hello, Rainbow City bus. Shouldn't you be on your way to someplace very important? Mayhaps. Well, I should, but as you can see, I'm stuck in this delicious goo. It does smell yummy. It is yummy. And it tastes a lot like bubble chew icing. Griselda! Oh. Well, that's wiggly and jiggly enough for a regular cake eater. But this cake needs to be princess level wiggly jiggly. More is better. Hey, Griselda, do you know anything about some bubble chew icing traffic jam? Bartleby, I'm in the middle of making the most important cake of my career. I need my space. I'll talk to you later. But. Toodles! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Ah! Everything's shaking! Bartleby! Look! The trees! They're falling! <gasps> we need to go see what's going on! Oh! But true, we got to, um, uh, what, what about the... Come on, Bartleby. Ah. We'll be right back to help you out. Stay put. I hope all the forest critters are okay. I'm sure the forest critters are fine. You don't really need to do any hero stuff today, do you? I don't know, B, but let's go and check it out anyway. Huh? Is everything okay? These trees are 
blocking your path? Hmm. Well, maybe the three of us can move it. Not true. Can it wait? We still have that ooey gooey traffic jam to clean up. If we don't help, no one will be able to come through the forest. Bingo, bingo! Party decorations! We need to move this tree right now! That's the spirit. It's too heavy. This isn't working. Time for some wish help. To the wishing tree! Happy birthday, True. I, uh, wasn't expecting to see you until your party. The party will have to wait, Z. There was some kind of earthquake. Yeah, we felt it up here, too. It knocked over trees in the never-ending forest and no one could get around. And there's a sticky situation in Rainbow City. A sticky, gooey situation. And it's causing a huge traffic jam. Oh, that does sound serious. Let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first we need to get the trees back upright in the never-ending forest. Yeah, and let's not forget, they're super heavy. Then, we have to get the gooey glob off the Rainbow City streets. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wait till you see what the Wishipedia says about these. First up is Lifto. Lifto! This wish is incredibly strong. It can lift anything you place on top of it. Just give it a spin. Wow! Lifto, you can help us get all the trees standing again. Lifto! And next we have... Pumpa! Pumpa! This wish can blow air into anything, like a flat tire. Or a balloon bouquet. Pumpa! Or a giant gooey glob like the one causing the traffic jam. Maybe Pumpa can blow it into a bubble and float it away. Pumpa! Oh, you're gonna love this one. Meet Kakaraka, one of the most powerful wishes of all. Kakaraka! Kakaraka is a bursting wish that can help break large things into smaller pieces. Wow! I'm not sure how I can use Kakaraka just yet, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Bye, Z. Good luck, you two. We're back. Thanks for waiting. Let's see if we can move these trees off the road for you. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Lifto. Wish come true. Hey, ho, Lifto. <laughs> see all those fallen trees? <laughs> we need you to lift them back up again. Which will clear the path and allow everyone to get where they need to go. <laughs> Oh, I'm just excited about getting people moving again. Go Uh, 
All this baking is making my lips chapped. Oh, what is more important than taking care of my beautiful skin? Uh -oh. Hi, everyone. Drew, thank goodness. I don't think I can eat any more of this delicious goo. Okay, time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Pumpa. Wish come true. Hi, Pumpa. Pumpa. <laughs> That giant glob has really gooed up our friends. Ready to help clean it up? Pumpa! Great! I bet we can blow a huge bubble out of that goo. Pumpa power, go! Oh, yay! <laughs> Pumpa! Thanks, Pumpa. That really blew me away. Now back in the back. Thanks, Drew. See you later. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't need to do any of that hero stuff today, but you took care of that pretty easily. I did, didn't I? Hey, Griselda. Ugh. True. I wish you the most happy birthday. Ah. Aw. Thanks, Griselda. May I please talk to Bartleby about nothing to do with cakes? Sure thing. <laughs> okay, what is it, Griselda? Bartleby! This cake is not doing what I told it to do. Stay! No! Bad cake! The words bad and cake are not something I want to hear. What's going on? Well, it turns out more is not always better. The Stronilla cake layer is a bit bigger than I expected. Like, oops, it's so big we're going to be eating cake for a week? More like, oops, it's too big for the oven. And the kitchen? And maybe the house? Come quick! I'm not sure I can hold this much longer! What was that? That is... Uh, super huge birthday cake? Super huge, totally on purpose birthday cake! B, you shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. Uh, that'll be for me. Bartleby! The strangest thing just happened. I'm suspended in this scrumptious vanilla sponge cake. I've been stuck in a traffic jam before, but never a traffic jelly. This cake is going straight to Fruki's obedience school. I Hi, B. Hi, True. Hmm. There might be a small problem with the party. Oh, you mean that giant birthday cake that fell over on Mushroom Town and has all our birthday guests stuck inside the delicious ooey gooey icing? Uh-huh. That wasn't part of my plan. True, I hate to ruin your day, but I think I really need your help now. It's okay, B. Helping people is my favorite thing to do. Oh, okay. cute! We've got a cake problem. To the Mushroom Town. This cake is huge. And it looks delicious, too. Should we just eat our way through? Because I'd be okay with that. Well, as yummy as that sounds, it might take too long. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Kakaraka! Wish come true! Hi, Kakaraka! We have a giant cake problem. We need your help. Kakaraka! Ready, Kakaraka? Kakaraka! We're rooting for you, Kakaraka! Kakaraka! Okay, now wait for my signal. On my count. Three, two, one.
Let's get this party started! Hey! Yeah! <laughs> I guess we should just leave the party planning to you next year, huh? What do you mean, Bartleby? Well, nothing worked out the way I wanted it to, and besides, you don't even have a cake! Bartleby, I had the most incredible day! Mostly because I got to spend it with you. I love the picnic and the ice cream lunch, and I love my outfit! Everything you did today came from your heart, and that made this the best birthday ever! Huh? What? Cupcakes! Cupcakes! Oh! Bartleby, it's raining cupcakes! I don't think anyone's had a birthday party like this before! Kakaraka! Way to go, Kakaraka! Zoo zip zap, wishes in my pack! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday True! Best, Best party ever! This party is amazing! Thanks, everyone! This is even party ever, and it's all thanks to Bartleby. Great, Great job, Bartleby. Bartleby! Oh, shucks. Thanks, True. You deserve it. <laughs> True? Hey, where'd you go? And now for your birthday entertainment. Whoa. May I please present to you our great guest of honor. Whoa. Ready? Nope, too hard. <coughs> too soft. Too leafy. Ah, oh, that's just right. <laughs> Maybe too good a job. Hmm, I think this cat nap needs a Yeti wake up call. Oh, erg! Hi! Hi! <coughs> Bye! Tradition? It is. Having fun is a Yeti specialty. So is recycling. Your sleeping bags are made entirely out of fallen leaves. Oh! And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a nice, healthy breakfast. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Great! Well, that Yeti tradition looks like a lot of fun. I want to try that. Sure. Everybody grab a Yeti buddy and have. Everything looks good enough to eat! That was delicious, thank you! Uh, now, uh, what should I do with my plate? Is there garbage? <laughs> Yetis don't believe in garbage. They reuse everything. <laughs> <laughs> including the plates, which are edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, oh, you know, this tastes pretty good for a plate. Huh, I was right! Mm. Everything is good enough to eat. Now that we've seen some Yeti traditions, do you think they'd like to learn some of ours? Definitely. What were you thinking? Well, when we camp out, we like to gather around, do some dancing, and roast Nummelberry marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the best part is, we do it at night. 
You know what? Oh, the Yetis only like daylight. They never go out after dark. Ah! Never. Ah! Ever. Oh, message received. Guess we'll only have to collect half the Numbleberries now. Would you like some help getting ready for nighttime? Oh! Uh -huh. Come on, B. Um, mm, got any dessert plates? Mm, now that's hospitality. Mm. <laughs> oh, B. Can I ask you why you don't go out at nighttime? <laughs> You're scared of the dark? Hey, me too. That's why I always carry a security blanket and a security snack. And a security best friend. <laughs> always. So, what do you do to feel safe when it gets dark? Whoa! Is this a Nine Eye fruit? I've never seen one before. So pretty. Oh, the Yetis have been using the Nine Eyes for thousands of years. It helps them feel safe at night. Nine Eye. It's too bad the Yetis can't join us at our camp out. Yeah, well, I heard they don't like being outside when it's dark. Well, maybe they need some lights, like those ones up there. <gasps> hey, that gives me an idea. Yeah! Oh, look how bright we made it. Now the Yetis can join us for camp out. Yeah! Oh, Yetis! Oh. Yes. We found some nice lights for you! Oh. 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 oh, can you hear how excited they are? Nailed it! Oh, and here they come now to thank us. That's probably it. I'll be right back. Is everyone okay? We heard howls. Unhappy howls? Don't worry, True. I'll turn off those bright Nine Nine lights. No! <laughs> the Yetis are scared of the dark and they need those Nine Eyes to feel safe. Oh, I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You didn't know. But those Yetis won't be able to go night night without their Nine Eyes. Let's just turn those Nine Eyes back on. There must be a switch or something. We can't turn them back on? We have to get new ones from the Nine Eye tree? What about these little lights? Couldn't they work instead? Those lights are nice, but they're too small. And not nearly bright enough. No, the only thing we can do is get more Nine Eyes. A great plan. Um, we'll wait till morning and leave when it's sunny, right? I don't think the Yetis can last that long in the dark, Bee. Where is the Nine Eye tree? Deep in the never ending forest. Uh, how deep? Oh, so really deep. Can you show us the way? <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll stick together. And I'll go get some wish help. <laughs> oh, Cumulo! We'll be back before you know it. Till then, stay together. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. Unless you're a fishy poof cracker. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! Thanks, Cumulo. Back in a minute. Z, the camp of night is ruined! True, Bartleby! Is everything all right? I heard howls. No, 
everything is not all right. Those are Yeti howls. Why are the Yetis howling? Because they're scared of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. And the citizens accidentally put out their nine eye lights, and now everyone is upset. <gasps> they put out their nine eye lights? But the Yetis have been using those for thousands of years. We know. First things first. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we need to find the Nine-Eye tree so we can bring back more Nine-Eyes to the Yeti village. But Snick's too scared of the dark to show us the way. So we need a way to light our path through the forest and keep Snick and Bartleby calm. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up, we have Woe Glow. Hi again, Woe Glow. I could never forget your bright personality. <laughs> As you know, Woe Glow is a light wish. It can illuminate any space, no matter how dark it is. Even say, I don't know, the never ending forest at night dark. Don't worry, B. Woe Glow can brighten any path. Next, we have Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. That'll come in handy if we get stuck somewhere really high. Uh huh, that. <laughs> Bumbershoot. Are we planning on getting stuck somewhere really high? And finally, we have Gravidity. Gravidity is super sticky and stretchy. It can help you grab things from far away. That's amazing! I'm not sure how we'll use your power, Grabadiddy, but if you like adventure, stick with us. Grabadiddy! Oh. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack! <laughs> Let's go find the Nine Eye Tree. Oh no! We don't have any wishes to help the Yetis! Oh, I have an idea! Be right back. Okay, we'll meet you on Cumulo. Bring snacks! <laughs> okay. <sighs> Ooh, is that the snack bag? No snacks. Just ingredients for a glow potion to help the Yeti stay calm until you get back. Great idea! Let's go! Hi! Hi, Yetis! This is my friend Z. He's here to help. Hi! Um, hello! True, I didn't realize there'd be such a big crowd. I'm used to potioning in front of small groups. You'll do great, Z. Pro tip, maybe don't go overboard with the science talk. But not all my talk is science talk. Well, good luck with that. Snick, are you ready to show us the way to the Nine-Eye Tree? <laughs> <laughs> to bring you Radiant Energy! Uh, I mean, I'm here to bring you Illumination! Uh -huh. I'm here to bring you Light! <laughs> Observe. Stick, if you're saying this is a gloomy, dark, and spooky, shadowy forest, I'm right with you. <laughs> 
It is getting pretty dark out here, but I've got just the thing. It's time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Woglo! -Glow. Wish come true! Hi, Woglo. Can you light up this gloomy forest for us? This, um, gloomy, dark, spooky shadow, so many scary words forest? <laughs> See? Much better. All right, okay. You know, uh, things are looking up. I can see the ground. I can see the trees. I can see my fishy poof crackers. Oh, can we stop for a quick snack break, Drew? Sure, Bee. How about a little rest, Woglo? Woglo! One for Snick, and one for True, and one for the giant scary plant creature. Ah! Oh! It's just this cute little flower's shadow. See? Okay, it's gone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Everybody relax. Don't do that shadow thing again, K-True. Not all shadows are scary, Bee. Some are fun. Here, you shine woe glow on my hands. Hey, it's me. I'm famous. <gasps> Rainbow King. <laughs> Delightful daffodil. I'm so Please do like my shadow puppet show. <laughs> You're so good at making us not scared, Drew. I couldn't do it without my lovely assistant, Woglo. Woglo! Oh, sorry. I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! Ah. Nope, not that. <laughs> uh, yes, pollen from Rainbow King's favorite flower. Oh. And celestial particles. Uh, I mean, star sprinkles. A good scientist always knows when to check on his experiment. Being here. We've never been here before, B. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Snick, is the Nine Eye Tree down there? Oh, yeah! She said all we have to do is follow the river. Uh, how are we supposed to get down there? Easy, we're going to jump. I was afraid you'd say that. Bartleby, we're going to have to be brave. The Yetis are depending on us to bring the Nine Eye Light back to the village. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bumbershoot! Wish come true! Hi, Bumbershoot! Can you help us float down safely from here? Ah, Bumbershoot! Well, Glow, you sit on my shoulder, okay? Bumbershoot, we need you to get as big as you can. Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. One, two, three, jump! getting kind of tired. Is that Nine-Nine tree close by? Ooh! Yeah! Lola! Lola! Wow, 
Well, I guess that's the Nine Eye Tree. Oh! Thanks for your help, Woglo. Woglo! Now back in the pack. Uh, true. Why is the Nine Eye Tree so dark? I don't know. Let's go take a closer look. <gasps> Stick says the Nine Eye Tree is all lit up during the day. Then why do you think it looks so different at night? Oh. oh. It's sleeping. Of course it's all dark. Even Nine Eye Trees go to bed. So how do we wake it up? Nine Eye. <gasps> the Nine Eye Dance. Nine. Look at all those nine eyes. But true, they're so high up. How are we going to get them down? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grabadiddy. Wish come true. Grabadiddy. Hi, Grabadiddy. I need your super sticky power to help us catch all those nine eyes. Uh huh. Ooh, yeah. Let's get grabbing, grab a ditty. Grab a ditty. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Way to grab, grab a ditty. <laughs> Thanks for your help, grab a ditty. Grab a ditty. Now back in the pack. Sorry to wake you, Nine Eye Tree, but my friends and I were visiting the Yetis and we. Uh... Somebody threw water on the Nine Eye lights and they just went out. Wasn't me, just saying. A anyway, the Yetis are a little afraid of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <clears throat> Is it okay if we borrow some of your Nine Eyes? Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, Nine Eye Tree. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We better get back to Yeti Village. Sweet dreams, Nine Eye Tree. Nine. I'm sorry. All my potions are destroyed. There's nothing else I can do to bring you light. Hey, there's some light. Those look like Nine Eye lights. Hey, it's true, Bartleby and Snake. Hi, we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Now we have enough Nine Eyes to light the entire Yeti village. And I wasn't afraid of the dark or my shadow. <laughs> well, maybe a little. I just want to say how truly sorry we really are. It's just that we got so caught up in the Yeti traditions, we didn't realize we were causing any harm. Well, isn't there anything we can do to help the Yetis now? <laughs> issues. Perfect execution. <laughs> hey, look at that cloud. It's a kitty netty ninja cat. Like me. Hmm, are you sure? Because that kitty natty doesn't look like it's falling down at all. <laughs> Good one, True. Up top. Ha! <sighs> Bartleby, look. Is that what I think it is? Oh, you mean that cloud shaped like a fishy poof cracker? <laughs> 
but I meant a little lower, in the tree. Aww, it's a cute little birdie. That's not just any cute little birdie. It's a birdaloo. <gasps> you mean the magical bird that only appears when a baby is being born in the Rainbow Kingdom? Yes. Someone, Someone is, is having, having a baby. The babies are here. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? She must be showing us where the baby's going to be born. Follow that, Bertaloo. Hey, Bertaloo. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, come back. Hey, where'd it go? I don't see it anywhere. Wow. Oh, 
Please make yourself at home. Have a seat. <laughs> so, what's happening, Erg? <laughs> you can't find your pink underwear? I have that same problem. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Sorry, you were talking really fast. Here, have some tea. It'll make you feel better. Works for me. Uh-huh. <sighs> Nothing beats a cup of warm, crunchy tea. <sighs> <sighs> Birdaloo! <gasps> the Birdaloo is upset? <laughs> because it's too noisy in Yeti Village? <laughs> now that can't be good. Uh -uh. We need to go see what the problem is. Pronto! Come on! If we hurry, we can catch the bus. Huh? <laughs> Non-stop service to the Yeti Village. Baby! Yeti! Yeti! Baby! Baby! Yeti! We're almost there, Erg. Baby! Huh? Oh, um, oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Erg. I'm sure everyone will be quiet once we get there. Huh? Seller, Yeti sweaters, muddled by Fruki, of course. Yeti Baby Palooza? This is terrible! Agreed! Yeti Baby Bonanza sounds way better. I only told Griselda because I know she loves babies. I didn't think everyone would find out. Yeti! Yeti. Baby! Baby! Yeti! This is all my fault! This is way too loud for the Birdaloo, isn't it? Uh, the Birdaloo! Oh, oh, oh. The Birdaloo's flying away? We have to do something! Is everything okay? Oh. The noise from the crowd must be bothering Birdaloo! Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh Don't worry. We'll find a way to calm the Bertaloo down. She seems pretty upset. Yeah, I think you're right, Bertleby. Wait a minute. Looks like she's heading for the window. Oh, no you don't. <sighs> she's trying to get out. Wait, now she's heading for that window over there. Uh, sorry, Bertaloo. Hey, look! It's the Yeti Baby! Yay! Baby! Oh, no! Your poor house! Oh, wow, well, this is different. I don't know, Erg. Where did the Bertaloo go? Hmm. Ooh. The Bertaloo! No! Oh! Oh dear! Mama Yeti looks kind of cold. Let's give her a Yeti sweater. I want one of those too. You're in luck. It's two for one Yeti sweater! Yeah! Everybody! Hello! Yeah! Yeah! It's no use. They can't hear me. What? I can't hear you! I have to fix this. We need wish help. Camilo, I need you! We'll be right back. To the wishing tree, please. Go, go, Camilo! True and 
Bartleby? The Yetis need our help. I know. I've already started on this lovely little gift basket. No, they need a different kind of help. When I heard they were having a baby, I got all excited and had to share the news. And now everybody's way too excited, singing and cheering and buying silly souvenirs. There's a big crowd at the Yeti Village making a huge racket. The Bertaloo got really scared and Erg tried to catch it, but ended up knocking the whole house down. And without their house or the Bertaloo, the Yetis can't have their baby. Negative electrons. That is a serious problem. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first I need to fix Erg and Snick's house. Right, they definitely need their home to have their baby. Then, I need a way to make Erg and Snick's home quiet again so the Bertaloo can come back. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Da da. What a winning collection of wishes! First up, we have Gogo. Bye bye. Gogo is a speed wish that can help you move super fast. Wow, Gogo, you can help us fix Erg and Snick's house in double time for the baby. Bye bye. Next, we have Hushabai. Hushabai, it's always great to see you. <laughs> Hushabai is a soothing wish. Hushabai can calm you down with its sweet, soothing music. That's how we'll make things quiet. Hushabai, you can make the whole crowd feel calm and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Finally, your third wish is Pinpoint. Oh. Pinpoint. Pinpoint has a remarkable ability. It can capture anyone's attention, and they won't be able to take their eyes off of it. A wish that likes to be the center of attention? Hmm. I can relate. <laughs> yes, Bartleby, but it actually helps people who are distracted to focus. Hmm, I'm not sure how focusing power can help, but I can't wait to find out. Uh-huh. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Let's go help the Yetis. Thanks, Z. See ya. May the wish be with you. I'm back with some wishes. First things first, we need to fix your house. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Gogo. -Go. Wish come true. Hi, Gogo. -Go. We need to put this house back together again. Can you help us move super fast? Go, go, go. Bartleby, you need Go-Go's speedy power, too. Everyone ready? Uh-huh. Get set, go! Once I get the crowd to quiet down and be calm. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? Wait and see. Time for my second wish. 
Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Hushabai! <laughs> Wish come true! Hi, Hushabai. I need your lullaby power. I've got a crowd full of Yeti fans down there who are just a little bit too loud. Hushabai! Great! Okay, Hushabai. Sing us the sweetest lullaby you know. Sweet, sweet song. It's so. I don't know. Sweet, I think. La, 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 la. Did you see the new Yeti trading cards? La, 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 la. Oh, boy, this is so comfy. It's working on Bartleby, but I don't think the crowd can hear you. Let's try a little louder. <laughs> la, 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 la. It's true! Hi, Drew! Oh, and she's got a wish! It's so cute! It's not as cute as this new Yeti baby doll I just got! Get your cute baby Yeti dolls here. Squeeze them and they'll talk! Me! Me! Uh -huh. Mine's broken. Yeah! <laughs> what? Oh, what? What's going on? Did I miss the baby? It's not working, B. Hushabye. You were the perfect wish, but no one can hear you. Can you keep trying while I figure out what to do next? Uh-huh. Thanks, Hushabai. Hushabai! Huh? Don't worry, Erg. I'll get everyone to quiet down. <laughs> the Bertaloo will never come back if the crowd is this loud. And I know Hushabai could calm them down, but they aren't even paying attention to the lullaby. Bertaloo! Bertaloo! Come on, True, focus. Wait, that's it! Keep singing, Hushabai. Help is on the way. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Pinpoint! Wish come true! Hi, Pinpoint. I need your help to get a really excited crowd to calm down and focus. <laughs> yes, I know that's your specialty. to say. Me too. That's how I feel as well. It's working! <laughs> Sorry, True. Everyone, it's great that we're all excited for the Yeti baby, but we need to remember, this is not our home. It's the Yeti's home. <sighs> I know the Yetis are usually very noisy, but when they're going to have a baby, they need everyone to be very quiet. Oh. You did such a great job, Wishes. Thank you so much. Now back in the pack. <laughs> now that we're all quiet, maybe we'll be able to hear a very special song by a very special bird. <laughs> I 
I'm pleased to present the newest member of the Rainbow Kingdom, Brock! Aww. But that's not all. And the second newest member of the Rainbow Kingdom, Blue! Aww. And Yerk! Triplets! <laughs> and now, as part of the Yeti tradition, it's time for us to celebrate loudly! Yeah!